He works as a letter carrier. He has a high single of 210, a high triple of 477, and he averages 118. Bill Gover works for Parlex Electronics in Methuen. He has a high single of 192, a high triple of 477, and a 132 average, which I believe is the highest average uh, that anyone has ever brought onto the show here. We've got a bunch of 130s that come by from time to time, including Tommy Olsta and Tim Lipke, who will be coming up next week. 132 is just about as high as you get. Bob Kelly with a nice finish to get a 10. He's at 25. The champs, Bill Gover and Brian Uphold at 19. So a six pin spread through the first couple. Looking for his first mark. Still looking. Another 10, 29 through 3. And a 9 for Bob Kelly. 34 through 3. So it's a 5 pin spread now. Bill Gover and Bob Kelly will bowl the first five, and then we'll take a break. And Peter Flynn and Brian Uphold will step up there to finish off the opening box, the opening string. And then we'll swap lanes and bowl one more and add them up to determine the champions. There they go. Bob Kelly spares in the fourth. So the challengers are pulling away a little bit. Through four, Bob Kelly at 44 plus a bonus ball. Bill Gover at 37. So it's at least a seven pin lead. On the spare. Thin hit and only five. 49 through four. The lead is an even dozen. So Bill Gover is going to finish up somewhat uncharacteristically without a mark in the first five boxes. In the eight weeks he's been here, I believe that's the first time that that's happened. 47 through five for Bill Gover. And for our challengers, Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn, 56. Now for the champs, champs down by nine. Not for long, maybe. Strike in the sixth. Peter Flynn now for the challengers. Peter is from Woburn. He's married with two sons. Works for the A.W. Chesterton Company. Peter has a high single of 204, a 480 triple, and a 125 average. He also has a spare in the six. So we've got matching marks up there on the board. On the strike. And on the spare. Big hit. All of them. Brian Uphold works for United Band Lines. He has a high single of 192, high triple of 485, and a 122 average. Brian and Bill representing the Londonderry Bowling Center in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn here representing Lanes and Games in Cambridge. Peter Flynn now on the strike. Brian 
Leppold spares in the eighth. Peter Flynn now looking for a mark here would be three in a row and worth fifty dollars in bonus money. We've yet to give away any bonus money. He's got some nervous wood down there that he's waiting for to settle down. Three in a row and fifty dollars in bonus money. But more importantly, it means a big lead with a couple to go here in the opening string. It's a twenty-three pin lead through seven. And nine on the spare in the eighth. And Brian Uphold with another spare in the ninth. The lead is 24 through 8. Peter Flynn spares again. There's another $50 in bonus money. 100 so far. There you see the difference. 24 pins with matching marks in the ninth. Ryan adds 6 to his spare. Peter Flynn now. On the spare. How many? 8 more. So it's a 26 pin lead through nine and a great spare by Brian Uphold. There's three in a row and $50 in bonus money. Peter Flynn looking for five in a row and another 50. And will he get it? No. So Peter will finish up with a good strong opening string of at least 142. More than halfway home to the 275 two string total which would bring an extra payoff of 200. Gets the 10 143. Great bowling by Peter Flynn. Spare strike spare spare 10 box. Ryan uphold on his spare adds six so after a slow start the champs rally back for a respectable anyway opening string of 123 so down at one point in this match by 26 pins they rally back to bring the lead within striking distance anyway 143 for Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn 123 for our defending champs Bill Gover and Brian Uphold Will our champs be able to get 20 pins plus in order to come up with their seventh consecutive win? We'll find out right after this. Here we go with string number two after a wild finish in string number one. 143 for our challengers. Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn. 123 for our defending champs. Bill Gover and Brian Uphold. Kelly opens with a spare. And Bill Gover finally gets one. First mark in his first six boxes. So no change. The spread is still 20. And Bob Kelly is left with a tough split. Two in a row. Got it. Great shot. Bill Gover now needs only the 10 pin, and he's got it. On the spare. Well, each bowler has another spare in the making. This is for three in a row. Got it. Bob Kelly, $50 in bonus money. And Bill Gover. Got it. $50 in bonus money, three in a row. Come on, guy. Come on. 
Good bowling by Bill Gover, but not good enough because he's being matched mark for mark by Bob Kelly. The champs, in fact, have lost another pin to the lead. So it's 21 pins now with just seven to go. On the spare, spread eagle. Well, tough leaves on either side. Good bid, but one pin short. Bob Kelly takes a seven, 57 through four. Bill Gover, 10 and 61. So the champs have picked up four pins. The lead is 16 with six to go. doesn't go. Bob Kelly can't believe it. So the champs are back and then some. Bob Kelly with a nine. And 66 through five. Bill Gover and Brian uphold at 71 plus two bonus balls through five. So the lead is 15 minus however many Brian gets on his first two balls. Fifteen minus eight. So the lead is down to seven. Peter Flynn with a key spare just as it looked like the lead was getting away. So the champs have picked up 13 pins. Overall, the lead is seven for Peter Flynn and Bob Kelly. And Peter is making it hard to catch up. For another spare. He's got it. So Brian Uphold will need a big finish in his final three. He's certainly capable of doing it. Remember the three strikes in a row of a few weeks ago. In fact, each, each of these guys, Brian Uphold and Bill Gober, has put together three strikes in a row. Peter with seven on a spare. It's a 24 pin lead overall with three to go now. And another mark. Three in a row and another $50 in bonus money. So that's $100 in bonus money in this string. $100 in bonus money in the first string. $200 in bonus money overall. Of course, you take the 143 in the opening string and add it to the 112 they've got so far through eight, and you realize that they're just about a lock for the 275. Eight on the spare, 120 through eight. So they only need 12 pins in the final two boxes, and they've already got eight of them here in the ninth. So Peter Flynn and Bob Kelly not only will take away the championship, they're going to take away a lot of money, too. Another spare in the night. That's another $50 in bonus money. $250 in bonus money so far. Brian takes a 10, 118 through 9. Peter on the spare. There's six, 136 through nine. So already they've exceeded the 275 total. For another mark. 
No. And Peter takes a nine and finishes up with yet another strong string. And Brian Uphold finishes up. The applause for Brian's string here, but also for the six week reign as champions here. A 124 in the second string for our defending champions, Bill Gover and Brian Uphold. Pretty consistent bowling, actually pretty consistent for both sides. Bill Gover and Brian Uphold, 124 on top of the 123 for a 247 total. And Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn with a 145.